Libra, hi, it's Lisa here from What's Her Name Tarot. I'm here to do your monthly reading for January 2021. Happy New Year. And yeah, as I'm saying on all of them, goodbye 2020 and bring on this new year. <laughs> We're all ready for it. Now, I do the Spirit Animal Oracle, Moontology Oracle. Um, it's a Celtic cross reading, so reversals are included in this one. All cards are clarified upright and I finish with the Star Temple Oracle. Thank you to everyone liking and subscribing. I love it. I'm up to 585 this morning and I'm trying to get to 600 by the end of the year. So <laughs> please click the like and subscribe button and click the notification bell as well. It lets you know when all my readings do come out because I'm here every week and I do weekly readings, monthly readings, quick fire reading in the weekends. And um, a few weeks ago, I uploaded all the yearly 2021 readings for each sign. So if you go to my channel, click on the playlist tab and all the videos are in there, um, in their order and in their sequence. Okay, so um, check those out. Yeah, I don't think I have anything else to say. General readings only. Take with you what resonates. Um, check your sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. Any number synchronicities that may come up, have a look at those angel numbers. Go on Google and there could be extra meanings there for some of you. And also, cross watchers are welcome. So, we'll begin. Libra. Couple I kept saying, oh, yeah, and I'll get these uploaded next week. Well, yeah, obviously, when you're watching them, they're uploaded. So, I've got to stop saying that. <laughs> I know what I'm saying. All right, Libra. You get number 35, Koala Spirit. Spirit has a plan. Love that. For those of you that don't know, I live in Australia and it's, Koala is ours. <laughs> I'm not an Australian though, I'm a Kiwi <laughs> from New Zealand, but um, I live in Australia and that is their Koala beer. They're so awesome, beautiful. But yeah, Spirit has a plan when things are meant to happen. It will let it happen. Unfortunately, not before <laughs> for some things. Okay, so Libra. You've got new moon in Aquarius. Bring love into the situation. Love that. Beautiful. There you go. Spirit has a plan, but bring love into the situation as well. That might be what spirit has the plan for <laughs> some of you might be bringing love love into that there you go so libra january 2021 okay Okay, so Libra, overall you've got the Knave of Pentacles, so somebody coming in and offering you this new beginning, wanting to work with you, quite confident that um, the two of you can work quite well together. Bringing love into the situation, your present energy is the Ace of Cups, Ace of Chalices, brand new beginning when it comes to love. Could be an existing relationship that you're just starting a new chapter on. It could be work that you love, but it could be a brand new love love for some of you. Okay, it's crossed with the Knight of Wands here. So seeing your dreams and visions come into play and um, maybe your dreams and visions aren't matching up to what you expect for this new love here. So we'll look at that when we do all the clarification. 
okay in your strength area you've got the six of swords beneath you there so that is all about um, movement forward maybe done in secrecy for some of you but um, either way it is a movement card and leaving something behind that's not serving you anymore and you know that you can move forward with something something new Okay, your focus above you is the Nine of Swords. So focusing on all this overthinking that you're doing, all the stress and anxiety, you're um, focusing on it so you're aware that it's happening. Um, trying to turn that back a bit, trying to tame it down and not to worry and stress too much because Spirit has a plan, Koala Spirit, and as we said, when that's ready to happen, it will happen and also bring love into the situation. Okay, ease that stress and burden there. Past energies, there's something you don't want to let go of. You've got the tower, but it is reversed. Upright, it explodes and releases all that energy you don't need and makes way for this new path. Whereas reversed, it's something that you're really not wanting to let go of at the moment or yet. Okay. Incoming energy is the knave of chalices and that is reversed as well. Okay, so again, maybe um, There may be missed opportunity when it comes to love that's coming in and being offered to you and you're not wanting to accept this at the moment Okay, you're feeling like oh, now I've got this on my own, but um, bring love into the situation Okay, doesn't have to be a significant love like a partner um, it can be anything, anything around love can be pets, can be, I was going to say pets and then cats, <laughs> it's like, well, yeah, um, but children, anything, can be work, a job that you love, a house that you love, but um, bring love into that situation, but turn that around as well, don't, don't just ignore it and leave it as is. Because what you need to know is the Two of Chalices. For some of you, there is actually love, love here. Okay, this is the Two of Cups. Somebody that wants to be with you on this journey. See things through with you. Okay, how others see you is the Ten of Swords, but it is reversed. Okay, so upright, it's a lot of pain. It's coming to the end of that cycle. But at the moment, it's reversed. You're still going through all this pain. It doesn't look like there's an end in sight yet. We will clarify that shortly. But others see you as going through this pain and possibly unable to help you because you're not wanting to accept their loving help that's coming in here. For some of you, we'll clarify that when we get to there. Okay, hopes and fears, three of pentacles, it is reversed, so things are out of control, okay, you're trying to do this um, solid foundation here, but it's not happening, because reversed, there's no detail, there's no planning put in place, and it's not happening, the solid foundation is not um, coming into place as easily as you would want it to. And you finish with the nine of chalices it is reversed and again not seeing that emotional happiness and stability you don't think that that's there in sight but really it's for you as well to bring love into the situation it goes both ways and um, try and get that card turned around so you've got that emotional happiness and that stability there and um, get that up right so Libra we're going to clarify and remember overall, Koala Spirit has a plan for you. Um, as I said, when it happens, it's meant to happen. When it doesn't happen, it's not meant to. So I'm a big believer of that. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Got some of these cards the wrong way. I can see that already. there so we're going to go put them that way first I'll have to turn them around as they come out right Libra we'll start we've got the knave of pentacles somebody wants to work with you you've got the hermit three of cups and the devil so the hermit you've got um virgo could be dealing with a virgo 
could be dealing with Capricorn, with the devil there. It doesn't have to be star sign related, okay? But working on yourself, taking time out, self-reflection, self-meditation, because you're stuck, you're feeling stuck with this negative toxic energy around you and that you're unable to break free of those chains when in fact you maybe bring love into that situation and break those chains free and that will give you reason to celebrate a success of some sort here getting together with friends or family and um, it's definitely got something to celebrate but trying to break those energies free those chains free of that energy of the devil there got new love now with the ace of chalices got the moon ace of swords and the seven of wands okay so fearful of this new love situation whatever it is as I said could be existing could be new but there are hidden fears here but the moon shines when the sun's not so bright when it goes down and um, lights up this path for you to follow there cut out all the crap that's happened in the past um, it's gone it's in the past leave it back there and go for this brand new beginning because you've got ace here with this new love and you've got this ace as clarification as a new beginning new chapter persistence don't give up don't quit keep fighting for it um, it's there maybe worth fighting for there so you've got the knight of wands it's crossing you there we'll see what that is six of swords two of pentacles and the ace of cups again okay so there's that movement forward card again with that six of swords so being done in secrecy for some of you um you did have that here. yes down below here in your strength area so you've got it again here so definitely there is movement happening here i've left the door open and here comes the plane <laughs> I thought, I've just got home and I was like, oh, I hope the plane's been. <laughs> no. So, yeah, moving, movement and secrecy, getting yourself back into balance. Life is constantly a juggle. It always is. Nothing is smooth sailing, especially when it comes to love and a new beginning in love. Again, whether it's new love or whether it's an existing one with a new chapter that's starting for some of you. Okay, so keep that balance and keep that momentum going to maintain that balance. Clarify the Six of Swords for the Strength area. Six of Pentacles, Two of Cups, and the Page of Wands. So you've got the Two of Cups down here as well with what you need to know, but um, balance, what we were just saying. Maintain that balance, equal give and take. Don't do all the giving and don't do all the taking. Okay, and there is love here with you, okay, whether you want it or not, <laughs> may be the case, um, but bring it into the situation, get that equal balance, okay, you've got your dreams and your visions, you can see that coming towards you, you've got your head held high, there's that confidence to look ahead and see that vision coming towards you, love it, beautiful. Okay, so above you, you've got the Nine of Swords, um, your focus, and that's on that anxiety and stress and overthinking things. Five of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles. Okay, so you've now got here two Fives and two Nines. Check those numbers out if you want to look at those angel numbers. Okay, and the fives are actually balancing on either side, even though they, these, this cold energy of being abandoned or blocked or left out in the cold, constant arguments and disagreements and conflict, banging your head against a brick wall. Okay, but this is coming to an end. You're over, maybe overthinking those situations there because there is success here. It's on its way. You can see it coming. It's right in front of you. And um, again, Bring love into the situation or let spirit do its thing and um, bring you that when you're good and ready for it so you've got the tower reversed in your past energies and so there's something you don't want to let go of and especially when it's in your past energy and it's reversed it is something that's been going on but you just don't want to let it go ten of swords ten of wands and the lovers so it may come down to um, love significant other of some sort, soulmate, twin flame, 
and you're not wanting to let that go and yet it caused you all this heartache it caused you all this pain it caused you all this burden you felt like you're on the journey on your own and it wasn't an equal balanced and equal give and take there and you may still be stuck on that energy with that reversed and not wanting to let that go just yet could be dealing with a gemini some of you others of you you've been through all this hurt and this pain and this burden and everything and this new love maybe as an existing one as i said but maybe there to be on that journey with you and heal that heal that hurt and pain so knave of chalice is reversed for incoming energy is with the king of pentacles king of cups and the knight of swords very strong energy there with the two kings and those two kings are awesome because it's stable when it comes to your emotions and to the love all the water around you but you're on your steady platform and you're maintaining there you're in control of your emotions there got all the success and abundance starting to come in now set up here that you can start seeing it coming towards you here it is here you may have been you may have now at this stage brought love into the situation with the king of cups there as well but don't rush into things okay if this is like an action now card i want to do this now and it's like make sure all the planning's in place all the details are in place and um look at things carefully don't go rushing in likewise it's also um a knight in shining armor you wanting to rescue somebody or somebody's wanting to come in and rescue you and it's like but same thing don't rush into things that's saying slow down and think things through okay so we've got two of chalices what you need to know empress seven of swords and the queen of pentacles love it use your intuition empress is very intuitive okay very aware of what's going on in the world what's going on with others and what's going on within yourself most of all you may be very aware that there is deception around you of some sort whether that's personal whether that's at work or at home or whatever you're ready to pick up your swords that do serve you and walk away from what doesn't serve you anymore okay and you're proud of how far you have come proud of your achievements again may have brought love into the situation by now because we've got this two of chalices we're clarifying and you're proud of your achievements and how far you have actually come with that awesome love that libra that was gonna fly out i nearly took it too so we've got the ten of swords reversed how people see you still going through some sort of huge pain backstabbing maybe for some of you four of wands knight of cups four of cups again you've got the balance either side but 44 is an angel number there you're looking for stability and commitment and somebody to step up somebody's wanting to step up here they are here coming in with this offer of love cup of love is coming in very stable and sure of themselves you've got that tunnel vision though and it might come back to still this that you're not wanting to let go of back here in your past energy and that's what you're focused on one of these down here but you need to shift your focus as well to know what else is happening around you and there's this love coming in that's the way that that knight is riding in with that cup and then there's that cup coming in beside you there so um look up <laughs> look up and around and um see what else is happening maybe bigger and better so hopes and fears you've got three of pentacles reversed six of wands eight of pentacles three of swords there's that heartache and pain okay could be a third party situation and it could be when it comes to work because this is very much focused on work whether it is your work job or working on yourself and you've been through a third party situation of some sort okay but very focused don't turn your back as we said on everything else do still be aware of what's happening around you and you'll come out with this victory here that will turn this three of pentacles upright where you can put the planning and the details into place to go after this victory and that win there okay love that Sound like a car here and you finish with the nine of chalices reversed so not seeing that love around you queen of swords five of cups the hanged man okay 
So you may have to be brutally upfront and honest and put your expectations out on the table, clear the air with somebody and speak your mind. Um, be upfront and honest and expect the same back from them. Okay. There is that loss. There's that focus again on just what you've lost and this grief and not what's happening behind you here. So shifting that focus again to see there is loving energy around you and you've got the hanged man. So you're at, sitting on the fence. You're at an indecisive moment. That's what I was going to try and say. <laughs> and um, yeah, not sure which way you're going to go at the moment. Okay, but again, bring love into the situation. What is it? Problem problem shared is a problem halved absolutely true so we're going to see what the universe has to say for you Libra death the hanged man and the two of swords reversed love that death card it is upright beautiful okay so allowing yourself to release what doesn't serve you and move forward with a new chapter new beginning new situation okay you've got the hanged man there he is upright and again so indecisive not sure which path you're going to take but with that death card there as well he's got your back there to close off this chapter and start fresh start anew your two of swords is reversed so it's very much that is very much the same card as the hanged man upright it's because you can't make a clear decision you you've got these choices here to make and you you're almost blinded by by something else that you're focused on that strong tunnel vision focus and you can't make a clear decision when you're just all boom down the middle here when actually out here may actually be bigger and better Okay, Libra, so love that, and we'll go to Star Temple and see what that has to say. Okay, so you get number five, the Ruby Star, Flow, I embody my authentic and sensual essence. Okay. Star words, joy, feel, twinkle, <laughs> love twinkle. The ruby star symbolizes the energetic vortex of the root chakra located at the base of your spine. This red portal is the stargate to realizing and grounding your deepest desires. The crystal spirit of the ruby personifies vitality, primal hunger for passion and a thirst for pleasure. This collaborative partnership embodies your sacred authenticity and sensuality. Maya encourages you to feel deeply into your senses, to establish your sensual flow, power and strength to thrive, not just survive. Wow, that's bringing love into the situation for some of you. Okay, so Libra, love that. Hope it helped. Do click that like and subscribe button down there, as I said. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya. Bye.